Hi again, kindergartners. It's Miss Perkins. I'm going to do another read aloud for you. And you'll notice I'm all comfortable in my fuzzy blanket because it's a little bit of a long book. But I'm also very thematic today. Look around and you're going to see what the theme is. I have my earth earrings, my earth necklace. What's on this book? Yes, an earth. And if you look up here on the calendar, you're going to spy that it's April. And so with April, on April 22nd, it's always dedicated to Earth Day for taking care of the Earth. And it's become so important for us to take care of our planet that they've actually decided to make it Earth Month. And so we're going to be doing that in our menu this week. All the kindergarten teachers have given you fun projects and activities, other books, all kinds of fun things having to do with the Earth. So settle, settle in and, and here's my book. Here we are, Notes for Living on Planet Earth by Oliver Jeffers. He actually dedicated this book to his newborn son. And so this is probably him with his newborn son all bundled up. And he gives him lots of messages that are not important just for him growing up, but all of us actually. So pay attention, here we go. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which we live. We're glad you found us as space is very big. Us the moon, space, and it has all these arrows showing outer space. There is much to see and do here on Earth, so let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land and sea rock and dirt, water. Firstly, let's talk about the land. It's what we are standing on right now. If you're outside, right? We know lots about the land. This is a volcano. It says really hot, bumpy here on the ground, pointy, the tops of mountains, cold up here on the ice caps. I love the way he labels his pictures. There's lots of arrows showing things. We do that in our journals sometimes. Dry, hot, flat, wet. Then there is the sea, which is full of wonderful things. We know a bit about the sea, but we'll talk some more about that once you've learned to swim, you're going to see the top layer of the ocean, the middle layer, and the bottom layer of the ocean. They all hold different things in them. So many great pictures that he is the illustrator as well. There's also the sky, though that can get Pretty complicated. The Milky Way, the constellations, the other planets, the moon spinning around us. Sometimes the sky is blue, sometimes not. Outer space. Okay, moving on. On our planet, there are people. One people is a person. You are a person. You have a body. Head, brain, arms, belly, heart, lungs, legs, bones. To hold us all together, 
look after your body as it uh, as most bits don't grow back the most important thing for people to do to remember to eat drink and stay warm that's super important People come in many shapes, sizes, and colors. Wow, look at this page. We may all look different, act different, and sound different. Let's see if you can find people that look like you or your friends, anybody you know. But don't be fooled. We are all people. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes and, and colors. They can't speak, though that's no reason not to be nice to them. That's an important thing to do when we take care of our planet Earth. We take care of the people and the animals too. Lots of cool animals on this page. Big, small. You may not be able to speak yet either. Remember, he dedicated this to his newborn. Even though your head's filled with questions. But be patient. You'll learn how to use words soon enough. All kinds of word, um, thoughts twirling in anybody's mind, right? Lots of wonderings. We do lots of wonderings in kindergarten too, don't we? Generally, how it works is that when the sun is out, it's daytime. And we do stuff. Then, the rest of the time is night. When it's dark, save for the moon, and we sleep. Things can sometimes move slowly here on Earth. Another beautiful picture. More often, though, they move quickly. So, use your time well. It will be gone before you know it. Though we have come a long way, we haven't quite worked everything out. So there is plenty left for you to do. You will figure out lots of things, lots of things out for yourself. Just remember to leave notes for everyone else. So all the things you've learned, you'll even pass those on in the future. That's what he's saying. So. Any small bits of ways to take care of our planet, even just being kindergartners, you can teach your older brothers and sisters, your parents, your grandparents, and other people here on this earth. So here it's really starting to focus on the earth. It looks big, earth, but there are lots of us on here. So, be kind. There's enough for everyone. Well, that is planet Earth. Make sure you look after it. That means to take care of it. As it is all we've got. It's our home. Now... If you need to know anything else, that's what they're saying here. Look up. Just ask. I won't be far away. So this is the page I was talking about in the beginning. Where's the adult taking care, right, of the children? 
And when I'm not around, <laughs> you can always ask someone else. That's the end of this one. I hope you liked it.